Okay, what's going on you guys? This is the workout for Thursday, December 3rd. No, 3rd? Yeah, I think so. Thursday anyways. Um, it's uh, going to be upper body emphasized and uh, we're gonna start off with a bent over uh, reverse fly, okay? So, two arms. And you need to get to that hinge position, right? This famous hinge position that we see on so many movements. So we're gonna hinge at the hips, keep the back nice and flat. Now on this one, you can bend the knees if you have to, that will help you keep that back flat. Try to just keep those knees back as much as you can and sit on your heels. But it's okay if you bend your knees on this one, okay? So keep the back flat, palms facing behind, and we're just pulling apart the hands. Try to keep those elbows up. Okay, imagine just pulling the hands right out and apart, okay? So the same idea as when you would do a band pull apart. It's that same motion, a flat band pull apart, okay? Um, ladies, start with 8 to 10 pounds. Guys, start with 12 to 15. And uh, you're going to do 15 reps, 4 sets. So 4 sets of 15, and you'll go um, every 2 minutes, okay? Second exercise. Mine flat that I'm going to press. So, you'll start with the dumbbells on the knees. And as always, you're just going to keep back. Right onto your back, dumbbells up over chest, squeezing dumbbells in, pack the shoulders down, and coming down just to the outside of your chest, you're gonna drive back, just slightly back as you press. Squeeze the dumbbells tight in your hands, pressing up. Again, keeping those shoulders packed down and squeeze together, okay, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Okay, when you're done, bring the dumbbells to your knees, just sit up, okay? Um, guys, start with 20 to 35 pounds. Ladies, start with, uh, I think 15 to 20 would be okay. Go every two minutes, okay? Number three. You're gonna do a reverse grip bent over row. So palms are gonna face up. Hand position will be about shoulder width apart, okay? So your hands are gonna go about shoulder width apart on the bar. You're gonna start, again, that slightly hinged position, the back flat, pull into the body. One step back, feet underneath the hips. And again, that hinged position, let the barbell come out away from your body. And then you're gonna pull in right into that lower midsection, driving the shoulders and the elbows back. Stretch, pull back. Stretch, pull back. You might find this one easier to feel in your lats, okay? Rather than being like this and doing the row, in this way, okay? So, um, you're gonna do five sets of 10, okay? Also, I don't think I told you guys on your, on your dumbbell presses, you're gonna do five sets of 10 as well, okay? Five sets of 10 on this one, Go every two minutes. Guys, start with about 65 pounds. Ladies, start with about 45 pounds, okay? So empty bar. All right, exercise number four. Standing military press. Hands are gonna go just a little bit wider than shoulder width. Step into the bar, lift out, keep it nice and close to your body. Squeeze bum, abs tight, elbows underneath the bar, press up and overhead. So when you're at the bottom, look, elbows are forward, right? Bum is tight, abs are tight. Pressing up just past the face and overhead. Four sets of eight. Go every two minutes. Ladies, start with the small bar, guys, start with the big bar, okay? Uh, we have two small bars, of course, the curl bar is about um, 22 pounds, and the small straight bar is 27 pounds, okay? The large 
uh, Olympic bars about 45 pounds. Okay. Um, how many sets are we doing on this one? Four sets of eight. Okay, if I didn't already say that. Four sets of eight and go every two minutes. Okay, exercise number five is gonna be assisted pull-up. Okay, and you're gonna go um, fairly narrow on this, okay? So let's say a little bit wider than shoulder width. Basically the same grip you did with your um, standing military press, okay? Hands just a little bit wider than shoulder width. Walk the hand, uh, walk the feet out. Stretch the bottom here, nice stretch. Shoulders followed by elbows. Notice again that the elbows follow the same path as the uh, overhead military press, right? They're gonna come forward and underneath the bar. So again, stretch shoulders, and those elbows come forward as so you point yourself up. Notice my hips stay down. Okay, so you've gotta think about this. Um, you've gotta think about your hips as dead weight on this, okay? Think of your hips as dead weight and only pulling with your arms and ultimately your back, right? Pulling from here, trying to drive your arm down, pulling with your back, okay? Um, three sets of as many as you can. Go every two minutes, okay? Lastly, we're going to do a barbell skull crusher, okay? Or French press. We normally do this with dumbbells. Today, we're gonna do this with a barbell, okay? So, again, ladies, you can use a small bar for this one. And guys, you might be able to use a big bar. Just depending on your strength. So, hands are going to go about shoulder width apart. That bar is going to come down to the top of your head. And you're going to extend up. Notice my arms are slightly back. So I'm not ending here. I'm going to end here. I'm down, touch the top of the head. Come back up. Down the top of the head. Back up. Nice and controlled. Try to keep those elbows in. Don't let them flare out. Okay, so. We're going to do four sets. Of 15, okay. Four sets of 15, go every uh, two minutes. Ladies, start with this, one of the small bars, either the 22 or the 27. Gentlemen, start with the empty big bar, and then you might be able to add some weight to that, okay? Any questions, let me know. Uh, good luck, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.